Nice. Hello, I am Robert. Robert? I thought you were Zingo. Now, I'm sure many of you will agree that nowadays on a crowdfunding campaign uh, website such as uh, Indiegogo or Kickstarter, there are not many interesting robots to invest on, which is um, very much what I'm into at this stage. And um, I managed to log in to a Korean crowdfunding uh, website and found this very interesting robot called Zingo. Now, um, I'm sure many of the Asian people are aware of this because it was a huge uh, success, but I don't think uh, people in the Western world are aware of the presence of a robot called Zingo. So this robot Zingo, what it can do is not only it can dance to the music that you play, but you could also do the customizing programming, runs through the app, but you could also do voice command as well with a very affordable price. I believe at the time when it was available in the market, it's between 120 to 180 uh, US dollars. And um, I actually managed to buy this from AliExpress, but surprisingly it's titled differently and the app itself, I believe, is also different as well. So I got a bit of a doubt whether this is the uh, authentic Zingo, but I do actually believe it is. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing and exploring this single robot. So here it goes. Okay, so let's do the cutting on the tape on both ends by Higonokami knife. And I think that's pretty much it. So the moment of truth. Okay. Wow, look at that. So a very um, simple uh, user manual. Okay. So simple buttons and um, also the simple instruction on how to use the app, which is pretty straightforward. So here we have it, people. We got the Zingo robot, which very much looks like an astronaut, which I very much like the concept of it. So we have the uh, USB-C cable, rather good quality thick cable indeed. And um, Nice size actually, slightly lighter than I thought it's going to be, but we can see obviously on the back side is the speaker. Um, both arms, bit Lego-ish, so I presume. Oh, it's a bit rubbery as well, so flexible, so you can attach a few items if you want. And um, yeah, that's the motor sound that you can hear. And a seal for the actual um, face of Singo, which is a very nice shiny black. And you can see from the sticker here, uh, this is the play and pause button. On the left hand side and the right hand side, we also have these buttons. So this will be the last track or move forward. Okay, previous track and so on. There's this a slot here for TF card that I'm not really familiar with, but seems to have a screwdriver that you need to actually open up. And then maybe you need an extra storage power on and off. And this is where you actually charge your single. And uh, we got a bit of a um, um, foam kind of like um, foundation feet. And um, all the motors actually are making rather um, obvious motor sound as well. So as you can see, Zingo is now being charged and the eye color is red, which is a very common color to letting you know that an item is being charged. Now, the thing is though, it's very much a 3D, it's a sunk in eye color. And also I noticed there's this tiny hole which I believe is a microphone feed, by the way. But it kind of reminds me of the robot that I recently reviewed, which is the Evo X. As you can see, these eyes are sunk in. So if you imagine, this robot was available three years ago with a very affordable price, and it's very well-designed uh, robot indeed. So well done. Okay, while we're charging, let's try to turn it on, shall we? Because I'm a very impatient person. Okay, slight notch. It's now turning to white. Nice. Hello, I am Robert. Robert? I thought you were Zingo. Okay, that sounds very westernized. So maybe that's why we have a different name. Okay, so as you can see, we got the app connected to Robert via Bluetooth connection. And on the right hand side on the main menu, we can see that remote control. 
and right below that is writing program so that's quite interesting if we were to click on the remote control side yeah it's pretty much uh, standard of what any robots you get um, if you press forward backwards if you turn right actually it's going on the other direction if we were to press left oh so the way how you face it i think that's how it moves okay fine so if you press hand action again if you press hand action that's how it does uh, leg action so if you press another one so there are various types of legs action you could expect and combine as well so yeah the feet itself reminds me of emo um, by the way also on the lighting side if we were to press um, white the eyes of robot change to white blue uh, darker blue green yellow red purple and so on and you can also adjust the speed of the movement of zingo or robot now if we were to go to the um, writing program you can see here you can change the rhythm and lighting which is pretty much the eye color as well and the speed of the movement which is pretty much the similar to the remote control side you could also add actions but under this condition you have to add a music which i don't really have any mp3 um, music clip i mean who actually plays mp3 nowadays anyway if you were to click one of the random ones i got here then you could actually add actions of these animations um, and then so on you could um, ask a zingo to play along with it as well so it's a very much a simplified uh, version of what you can do uh, so let's actually play uh, the music and see whether zingo plays or move around with the music so here it goes that's quite cool actually so we could understand the music and rhythm okay the music quality so far is not that good okay move along here zingo not robert it's quite cool though if you think about it as a speaker that moves i think that's more like the suitable description of it okay here it goes oh come on be more in okay so you're doing the robot are you robot <laughs> I was ex expecting more exciting movement, but okay, there you go. So that's pretty much um, what you can expect from Zingo or Robot. So if you don't want to use your smartphone, if you want to control it by touching his head, you can press play here. I mean, next track, you could just so press that one, which is the same music, by the way. So let's go to previous track. So yeah, it's pretty much controllable. Uh, by pressing buttons on his head as well that's pretty cool isn't it yeah so it's a interactive speaker so far so i hate to say this but i'm very disappointed with the outcome of what you get from single robot i initially had the impression that you can have a dialogue level same as what you do with vector or emo um, but it turns out that you can have a very simple dialogue in korean or sort of like the asian part of the language but unfortunately for the western version they even changed the name to robot with an extra t you do not have that function available on the app basically what you get is a remote control just like a um, robot toy you can make it go forward backwards turn left and right and change the eye colors and adjust the movements and the program page is so simple you just don't feel like you need it um, and you just end up playing music and you'll just watch a robot toy moving following the beat and so on but it does actually make me think that there are some good opportunities here if you think about it there's this screwdriver that you can actually take out then i believe there's a sd card that is plugged into i believe you can actually take it out and then you'll be able to uh, get onto this like github like community that is available on the asian website and then download that and then apply it so that this will then suddenly turn into the original zingo robot because i tried the zingo app and it was not 
being able to detect it because this has been converted to Western version, if you see what I mean. But also that made me think this is a really good canvas to apply chat GPT functionality. If you think about it, there's this microphone on his head that he will understand what you say. And there's also the speaker that will express the answer to it. And it's rather nice speaker quality, I have to say. And um, you can also do other things because it moves um, just like uh, any other robots and it actually moves rather smoothly as well. So that made me think that this, it might be a really good opportunity for me to explore on the programming side to see whether ChatGPT will be able to be integrated into a very cheap robot. I believe this is probably one of the cheapest a uh, robot that you can get that moves and produces sound and so on. So I think there's a good opportunity here, but the way how it comes as a default, I have to admit, is very disappointing people. So what I'll do is I'll try to see what I can explore um, and on the software side. And if I do get any upgrades, I'll come back to you as soon as possible. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech regards to single robot or robot with an extra T on it. So all the best. Bye-bye.